Hello, welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to reset your CMOS or your CMOS. Now, you may have been requested to reset this and I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's a couple of methods. First one, very simple. You'll see a battery here which resembles a watch battery. Uh, you can just take this out for, for a couple of minutes and that will reset your CMOS when you put the battery back into the motherboard and turn the PC on. Um, a few reasons for doing the CMOS reset is if you've lost display from your graphics card um, or need to reset your BIOS. Uh, a few other issues could lead to you wanting to reset your CMOS as well. Um, but I'm going to show you a method today, which if you can't reach the battery, um, it's a very safe method to do and anyone should be able to do this uh, quite easily. So what we're going to do to begin with is we're just going to kind of get our bearings around what we're looking at here. Um, so the power supply is, is just up here. We've got drive bays there. Um, this is the top of the PC and the front of the PC is just here. And what we are doing, and the reason I've got you at this angle is so you can see these connectors down here. Uh, now what you'll find is there's actually another little connection in here. You might be able to see this. Um, I'll try and zoom you in a little bit. Just there. So there's a couple of pins right here. I'll put my finger in the way, it might be able to um, highlight that a bit better. Um, so these two pins there are for resetting your CMOS. What we're looking for is right here we have our front panel connectors and you'll see this one right here. Uh, in fact what I'll do is I'll take it out, it's a, a very little connector, and you'll see on there it says power switch. And we're gonna use this to our advantage um, because what we're gonna do with this power switch is plug it into our CMOS um, reset. And it's a it's two pins and the CMOS is two pins. We're just gonna put that in there just like that. So you can see that's plugged in to that CMOS reset. And what you'll see as well, I'll just zoom in on this. Um, you'll be able to find the CMOS reset switch um, or the, the two pins for that um, around your board by, by looking for a little bit of wording that says clear CMOS, so CLR underscore CMOS. And I'll just give you a little picture of that now so you can see what that looks like on, on this particular board. Um, so the pins are here on this one, but it might be further up uh, around this area, might be further up this way, could be up here around there. It's never across this side of the board. It's it's usually within this area um, that you can find the, the CMOS reset uh, pins. So once we've connected the power switch up to those couple of pins, all we need to do is come to the power button on the PC, which on this one is in a very odd place. It is actually on the side here. Uh, so we're gonna hold that down for about 10 to 20 seconds okay and we'll leave it about there okay so that's about that was about 10 seconds um and then i'll bring this back here so you can see uh and then all we're gonna then do is grab our power switch and put it back into that couple of pins that we had there. Just like that, so you can see power switch and it will, get, it will line up next to next to these two. It's just the next, next couple of pins across from there. Um, and then all we do is power on the machine from here. This one's unplugged, but all we'll do is power on the machine from there. And, and hopefully this has resolved our issue. Um, if it hasn't, then we will have to take further steps. Um, hopefully this has helped, uh, and if it has, make sure to leave a like on the video, and we'll see you next time.